scare you a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's episode, we're going to be building a Dubia Roach Colony. These things are really simple to make. Probably need about $25 to $30 investment and some time. Time is key for this. You can stay like that for now. All right, so we were talking about Dubia Roaches, setting up a colony. Really simple. Dubia Roach food, it's a gut load. Crystals, I like Josh Frog's crystals because he has calcium in his crystals. Extra vitamins for your roaches, which means extra vitamins for your lizard. So, I strongly suggest these. These things work great. Alright, so, to build a dubia colony, you don't want a container. Um, Really, any of these little buckets work. If you want something bigger, you could go with something like this. That is my nesting area in one of my cages, but it's, what are they called? But if you have as many lizards as me, you are 100% going to want to breed these guys because that is like the staple food for your lizard. Most lizards, I should say. It is getting hot in here. Alright, back to the episode. So you got your tote. You're gonna want egg cartons next. So for something like this, you could probably go one city like that. Two. I actually need some space because you got to put a bowl here for the food and you need a second little bowl here for your crystals. So essentially, you want your cardboard in like this. We're going to take some mamas from here. So this right here, check it out. This right here is a female dubia roach. The way you tell the difference with these guys, the way to tell the difference is the females generally get wider and longer. The males have very long wings. When you build your colony, essentially you really need about five, maybe 10 of these girls, probably 10 girls to two guys. You don't want too many males in the colony. Males will kill each other and get territorial. So you don't really need too many males. Males are more to food. Um, these are the breeders though. I kind of pick for my colonies too because my lizards kind of like go through roaches. So. Every time I get a nice colony going and successful, they're usually food by the next week, unfortunately. Probably some pregnant females right here. Another big girl, but she looks like she kicked the can. Females, females, 
more females. All right, I don't think I have any adult males. So, can't show you what the males look like. I'll just put a picture up or something. When you're building your colony, it's good to put the, the cardboard up like this so there's holes to the bottom. These guys literally form little cities in here. So you won't really catch them running around the ground unless they're eating or dead, which you should probably also, I, sh I wanna know, you should also clean this out every two to three weeks. Um, just get the poop out of there, get the old food, get the old water crystals out, clean the water dish. Just good to do. If you have healthy roaches, you'll have healthy lizards. If you have sick roaches, you might have sick lizards. Just, you know what I mean? Would you want to eat bad food? They don't either, so just remember that. Cardboard straight up. I'm gonna get a bowl real quick so I can just show you what it looks like. That little man is pissed. Soak, my friend. No. We'll be all right in there. That's a little soak. Clean this little cup out. Get all the crap out of it. Need another one still. Another one. Okay, so. Two dishes. Go in your colony like so. Gut load roach food. Bang. Water crystals with added calcium. Josh's frogs. Josh, I want those blue tree geckos. Remember me. You don't want to go crazy with it because you don't want to waste it. Usually line the bottom of it up. Very little, just, just enough to line the bottom of whatever you're using as your container. Now. Kill me, kill me. That is so fucking loud. I'm not getting monetized because I curse. So this is a little female. Put the female in. Actually, there's a bunch of females. Five females in there. They're munching right now. It's really hard to tell the young males too. Cause you're looking for wing development. We're just gonna say that this guy's a male. It's probably a female, but we're just gonna say this guy's a male. Just for the sake of the video here. Five females in here. One male. Now he's the king of the castle. He's gonna mate with all of them, and you'll produce colonies like this. 
This is probably small to a medium size. These aren't the real large ones. Again, I blow through these roaches really quick, so it's pretty tough for me to keep a colony together, but I try. <laughs> um, let's talk about something else you can give these guys. These guys love fruit. They love vegetables. You could throw a carrot in here. You could throw a sweet potato in here. You could throw, said carrot. You could throw spinach in here. All those things are good for the roach to eat. And the nutrients that it gathers itself will then be passed on to your lizard. This is gonna wrap up my Dubia Roach Colony video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Love to hear from you guys. Almost at 100 subs. Get me there, guys, please. Catch you on the next one.